Hello everybody and welcome to another video on your girl's gaming channel and today uh, we're going to do a KSP video since as I just said on my latest video which is yesterday's video which is um, well I'm recording this when it uploads I just want two two videos J just for today and tomorrow so that everyone can watch my content now because I am not sure I'm going to hit a hundred subscribers without uploading so uh, for today's KSP video I have so KSP doesn't have a paint like a paint mod but there are paint mods in uh, there are paint mods in uh KSP let me show you okay guys so uh here we are at the mod page so this is called mouse custom page of it hasn't been up updated since 1.4.1 which is an old version from now um yeah so it's a paint mod as well uh let's see so oh let me just uh, so, uh, it has been updated for a while, but uh, so much this still do work. It still works under nine one point nine point one, but the current version as I'm recording this is one point ten point one, which is not sure if it still works, cause it might uh be broken when a new version comes out. That's the problem. Every time a mod. Uh, e every time there's a new KSP update, mods has to be updated if there's bug fixes or there's notifications that it's outdated. Like, like Twix scale, it's Houston. Uh, the in it still works, but uh, they update it so that they remove the Houston. But if there's another update, they will do the Houston again and do bug fixes or if there's not they'll just remove the Houston again that's how it works so as you can see it only says 1.9.1 so if you have this mod called uh, uh, if you have this mod called conformal decals uh, it's a basically a mod for decals slash flags now I know I know in 1.10 they added flag decals but one of the things that uh that conformal decals add is that it can be attached Yeah it c well let me show you Let me show you So let's say we're uh uh, uh let's see. Let's say I have a fuel tank. Uh, let, let's see uh, this one. Let's say we have a fuel tank. We the new 1.10 flag decals. Uh, just search up the. There you go. As you can see, it is kind of well. They do have. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that's. We can do this. But you all have to do some changes, and sometimes it doesn't even work. And it. There's just this invisible thing. It makes it unrealistic. So, what conformal decals do. Uh, let me just bring it up here again. What can formal decals do? So you see, it right now it's invisible, but when we attach it, it automatically disappears and automatically uh, attaches to the fuel tank or uh, anything, including mods. Mods. It also works on mods. For example. Uh, let me show you one. Uh, uh, for example, uh, near future construction. 
Oh wait. Oh, oh that's too big. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let me just keep going. Okay, there you go. Now it's kind of indivisible. But about there, yeah. It also supports that. It just clips it true. That's the good thing. It clips true. Uh, like there. Oh, that, that, that's visible. Uh, there. There. Yeah, it also works in mods and stuff. So, that's the good thing. That's the good part of the conformal decals. So, how do we paint this? Let's just straight. Let's just get straight into it. How do we do? How do we paint it? Well, I have found a solution for that. Skilled up. Well, whatever you want. Uh, got a. Uh, dev. Is it dev? Uh, let me just select. So you basically go to MS Paint or whatever paint program you use. The size of the flags, you copy them, and then paint them, the whole uh, picture, and paint them. And that's what I basically do here in MS Paint because I don't have a paint editor. I should download one that is free, but for now I just use MS Paint. It's good enough. And let's just say black. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, uh, no. Select black, black, black. Hold up. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. As you can see, it fills it up. So, if I'm right, oh, well. I think we need to <laughs> avoid doing that. And now you can do it in the other side. Oh wait, I forgot. Hold up, let me just scale it. I think we can only do it for one side. Select flag. Let's go select black. There you go. So it's invisible. But when we extend it, it becomes like that. What we also do is place one like there. Scroll down, select flag. Select. Uh, black again and this time you scale it up scale it up oh no let me just I think that's a bug I don't know why it respawns to a random flag but anyways there you go now we need this one and boom black complete black you can also do that there here and here and uh -huh. there you go oh no reset oh and i just reset that one <laughs> well you basically get the point i know it it seems like it didn't work for me well, it did work, it's just that you have to do, you just have to scale down, select black, the color you want, scale it up, you'll try to find the, uh, no, there. So yeah, how did I discover that? Well, <laughs> it just came out of my mind. I guess some people already have found the solution on painting on your fuel tank, your structural panels, in. Kerbal Space Program, but ah, uh, yeah. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. 
and I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye!